Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jack Mini Trades back here again with another video, and I actually ended up crashing my DJI Avada during a shoot that I did a couple of weeks ago. Although it was a little bit upsetting that my drone crashed and it caused some serious damage to the airframe, mainly right here on the right side, thankfully I had the DJI Care Refresh plan for two years, which covered my drone in the event of any issues. So what is DJI Care Refresh, you might ask? Well, if you're familiar with Apple products, then you can kind of think of it like Apple Care Plus, but Honestly, I think that this is an even better service package than Apple Care Plus, which is a pretty big statement. Although Apple Care Plus, you can of course refresh year after year after year if you have that perpetual service plan where you pay yearly. DJI Care Refresh, unfortunately, you can only get it as like a one-time payment thing. But regardless, one of the things that's particularly great about DJI Care Refresh is that whether you have the one year or the two year plan, if you don't have any incidents during that period of protection, DJI is actually going to give you a whole nother year for absolutely free. So the longest that you could actually have is three years in total, which is pretty great. That's a really nice time and especially for what they cover, it's I think really good. So with that said, what does DJI Care Refresh cover? Well, it covers anything from collisions to water damage, flyways, and even natural wear and tear on your drone. So this is really great, especially when you're talking about drones, because it's absolutely possible that something bad could happen while you're in the air. Whether you're using it to attempt some acrobatic maneuver that you're not really fully prepared to do, or if you have some sort of electronic error or some other kind of glitch in the system that causes your drone to just fly away or break during uh, normal use. And so this really brings me to my recent experience with DJI Care Refresh and Care Express. So when I bought my Avada with it, I got the two year plan straight away. So that way I would be covered in the event of any accidental damage for that period. The reason that I really wanna mention this is because you can only buy Care Refresh and be guaranteed coverage for your drone or any other DJI product within 48 hours of your purchase and activation of that product. If you've already activated your product and it's over 48 hours since your activation, unfortunately, you're no longer gonna be able to add coverage. But as long as you're before that, you can get coverage. So with that being said, I've had a few drones and I've never had any issues with them. So this is why I always recommend you guys to get Care Refresh, even if you don't think that something bad's going to happen because you never know when Murphy's Law is gonna strike. So in my case, I was gonna do a power loop and I actually completed the initial backflip through the obstacle. But while I was inverted, I sort of lost control and the drone was actually trying to automatically regain control. Meanwhile, I was trying to shut off the motors to the drone because they were kind of going crazy. And typically what I found is that shutting the motors off prevents further damage. Unfortunately, the drone wasn't really listening to me and I couldn't get the motors to turn off. So this thing eventually plowed into the grass underneath a tree and the right side of the drone was kind of crumpled in. The airframe was bent upwards a little bit, um, and unfortunately that caused it to not allow the propellers to rotate properly. So with that being said, I really could have had two options. I could have purchased an airframe for about $29 from Amazon and done the entire repair myself, but I would have still had damaged propellers and a slightly damaged upper frame. And that would have cost even more, about $55 to $60 in total to get everything completely back to the way that it should have been. And so I also knew that the lower airframe replacement was kind of an involved task. You have to really be careful with the wires and you have to route them and do all of this stuff. So it would have taken me a bit of time. And so I decided to actually go and look into the DJI Care Express service fee, which is one of the major draws to Care Refresh. In the case of the Avada, a full drone replacement fee was only $29, which is the exact same price as the entire airframe replacement. So for that price, I could get a brand new drone fully functioning from the manufacturer. So obviously I decided to go with that. Now, after you pay the initial service fee, you're going to also get a shipping label and that's so that way you can send the drone back. And you also get a shipping notification the next business day for your drone replacement. In my case, the entire replacement process only took me two days. Additionally, when you go and pay that initial service fee, you're also going to be getting a temporary charge of $311 for the DJI Avada at least. And that charge is so that way in case you don't actually send your drone back, 
that will remain on your account. If you do send the drone back though, they'll take that off right away. So for me, that $311 replacement fee was removed immediately after I put my drone in the mail and got my replacement on the second day. So within a week, I even received a personal phone call to ensure that my new drone was perfectly operational and replaced to my satisfaction. So all in all, I have to say that this was an absolutely fantastic experience. And honestly, I couldn't recommend D and honestly, I couldn't recommend getting DJI Care Refresh more for your next DJI purchase, especially if you're a drone operator. I think that this is a no brainer. With that being said, have you guys had an experience, whether good or bad, with DJI Care Refresh? If so, definitely drop it down in the comment section below. And also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more content to keep up to date with all of the exciting things that we have going on around here. You won't want to miss it. And also, check out the video that I'm going to leave right here at the end of the video, so that way you can see the project that actually caused this Avada to crash. But at least I got the shot, right? So. That's a good thing. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.